friends. Um, so Robert and I are at Sam's Club right now and he just bought me two raised garden beds. We got some peppers and some tomato plants that are already like huge because I um, didn't get mine planted and the ones that he was trying to water, he wasn't watering enough and they died. So we're gonna put that together. That's gonna be like the prodigy garden by the kitchen. So I'll show you that when we get home once we get going on it. Okay, change of plans. Because we went to Sam's Club, Robert bought me two beds that are gonna go down here and we did buy um, the tomato plant and the pepper plants. Um, and there's really three, you can see one, two, three tomato plants in here for $12. So $4 each. And these are, this is obviously a very established plant. It's already got a little tomato right there. These, there are five actually pepper plants in here. So you want to look for that because these can all be separated. Pepper plants can stay in here together. They like to be close together. They're going to go in the raised bed though. And this is loaded with little pepper bloom. Oops, well, <laughs> just pulled one off. But anyway, it's got a ton of little pepper blooms all over it. Um, there's another one. There, we won't touch that one since I'm breaking things. So the two, um, the two beds that he got me are going to go in this space down here. Um, because this is really like unused. It's like a weird space. It's like the extension of the, you know, the, this was the original, the original deck. And then they built this part of the deck, whoever built it, next owners or whatever, built this huge deck, which is, we're working on fixing, as you can see. And then this weird corner has nothing in it and never does. It's just like, oh, look, Tyler drew uh, the dog pooed up here. That's another thing. Chopper is lazy and he poops up here on the deck if it's raining or it's snowing or something. So I'm hoping also once we get the two flower beds up here, which are raised, he'll stop pooping. Let's take a look down here. Yeah, these came up from last year. I didn't plant these again. And they're greens for your salads. I'm not sure what that is. It might be a Cosmo. I don't know what that is. And these are sweet peas here coming up. So these are strawberries. I think they're ever bearing strawberries. Let's look. Ozark Beauty, whatever that is. Okay. Um, everything's sort of bloomed. All the rockets bloomed. I'm letting this grow because I don't know if this, what this is. I don't know if this is a plant, something I planted or if it's a weed. We'll find out soon enough when it flowers. And this is the cabbage leaves, which you can also eat. So they have bloomed. You can throw those on a salad. They taste like broccoli. Same thing with these. You can just eat them like this and they taste like broccoli. Um, so it's starting to get too hot out here. These are the sweet peas that I planted last fall that made it through the winter, through the snow. We didn't really have a bad winter, but so they're growing and I need to get something to, so they can be hooked up because they're gonna be giving us some pretty sweet smelling sweet peas soon. I think this is stock or something. I don't remember. This is a flower. Um, I just don't remember if it's status. I think it's status. That looks like a sweet pea, but this stuff is status. So I just had some soil sitting here and I was like, well, and I threw some seeds in it, but we'll see how they do. This I think is getting ready to go in the trash. I don't like it. Somebody gave it to us. It's in a, it just doesn't look good. And then I don't think this got watered at all, um, but it's still growing. You can see here, these are the tips of the tomato, um, over here too, of the potato plant. So since it's coming up and we're getting green, I'm gonna go ahead and give it some water right now. Oh, and then, so what we're doing back there, I'm gonna take you down there in a minute, but we got one raised bed, the two um, raspberry bushes behind it, he tilled the area. We have another raised bed that's gonna be coming that's longer, like a, um, a metal one. And then I also got two like barrels that are gonna go back there, which I think I'm gonna put like some herbs and stuff in and some flowers, like mix it up. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and water those <sighs> potatoes. Cause TJ planted those potatoes with me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what did I do wrong? Maybe got to turn it on, Terry. There we go. Something's wrong with this, too. This thing isn't, like, working right. I need to get a new hose head thing. Not the hose itself, but the, like, spray nozzle part. Let me give this a good soaking. Oh, I can see one of those tomatoes. We're going to have to bury it a little bit deeper. There. Plenty of water. Good to go. Everything's happy. 
I think Robert's gonna pull up that, um, put, try to put the raised bed up today. And I watered the pepper, and I watered, I watered the pepper and the tomato, so as soon as he gets those up, I can fill them with soil. The soil has arrived, and I'm gonna add some compost to it, and I'll show you that when it's done. So Robert is putting together some, um, um, what are they called? Raised beds for me. And there was paper in it, and both times Ch uh, Nitro took the paper, and now he's ripping it up. And I think Chopper is eating little pieces of the cardboard. Chopper, why are you eating cardboard, weirdo? Like, you're eating it, eating it. You're, like, eating it and swallowing it like a weirdo. Stop doing that. Stop eating that. Nitro just pulls it off and makes a mess, and, and then you eat it like a weirdo. Oh, see? Crazy. <laughs> look at him, Robert. Look at Chopper. Yep. You getting your back all good there, Chopper? You're going to get stuck, little fat pork chop. You're going to get stuck. You're not going to be able to get up. Now are you stuck? Chopper. You're such a weirdo. Chopper. What are you doing? I think he's stuck. Oh, there you go. Over. Over all the way. There you go. Don't eat that. Chopper. 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 Stop eating that. She's <laughs> such a turd. You're such a weird dog. You're such a weirdo. You're such a weirdo. You're weird too, Nit Nitro. <laughs> legs going. Get your legs going. Yeah. This 
confusing When you say you love me Then you say that we're just friends You must be thinking This is just a game I'm not interested to play I'm looking for something real Won't you tell me how you feel What your true intentions are Boy, you'll have to raise the bar If you want me, baby Something needs to change I'm done pondering I want clarity No more wicked ways Love me, early in me, yeah Love me, early in me But don't hold me hostage, hostage With this back and forth Love me, early in me But don't hold me hostage, hostage With this back and forth, this back and forth This back and forth
With a spot came for this back and forth This back and forth I'm gonna have to let you go If you don't wanna let me know Tired of feeling so lost Just say yes or say no Something needs to change I'm done wondering how I'm clarity No more wicked ways Love me early With a spark and fire Love me, or leave me But don't hold me hostage, hostage With a spark and fire, the spark and fire To say yes, or say no you guys off here hold on okay so um, I've got two pepper plants here I surrounded both of the containers with Walla Walla onions that I ordered online they came in while I was gone so hopefully they perk back up um, got two they're looking a little worse for wear because we just broke them apart but we have two here of the um, big they're like beef steak Beef steak tomatoes and then this is the sweet pepper better bell too and um there were actually five of these plants and or three three of these three of these plants and five of these in the same container now this piece broke off i just stuck it in here and we'll see if it roots and makes another third plant um, and then i also stuck in here a little a little chive on this side i um on this side i put the thyme and there's a little, it's the golden, in case you're wondering, it's, it's called golden thyme. It's really beautiful, actually. It's like a lime green and yellow. And then I've got a little um, chive here. And again, the Walla Walla onions all the way through. We've got one tomato here, which I got to get steaks for these guys and supports for these too. But there are three of, three of, um, the peppers. Peppers like to grow close together. They're, they're, they like to be near friends. And again, all around the edges, I've got the onions. So that should be good. Onions are a good companion plant for tomatoes, and so are peppers. Um, and I'm really, really happy. See my tripod, but I'm really, really happy with what we've got going on all in a day's work. Um, really loving it. And then, so I got to clean this up. Um, but then, we are going to build out the flower beds over here. Um, they don't have any soil yet. Actually, those eight bags of soil were originally going to be for this bed. Then we went to Sam's Club, and Robert really wanted to get me those other bed, those ones that I just planted. So we have them close by the thing. But today, 
he kind of tilled the ground here. We're gonna fill this with soil, plant this. Um, I have a, like a rec long, like an oblong metal raised bed coming, I think in the next day or two, that's gonna go right here. I might get two and put one here and one here, and then I'll just put these on the end. These are gonna be filled with flowers on the end. Um, I'm gonna fill those with dirt, and the big beds are gonna have all the vegetables, the herbs, and all that stuff. And then I'm gonna put something beautiful in the garden for pollinators um, in these bins. So these are not gonna stay here. And then of course, I've got my two raspberry bushes. Um, they're coming back, as you can see. The leaf, this is some, looks a lot different than this one. These are two different varieties, so they should do good together. So yeah, so I'm super, super happy. I felt like it was like my birthday today. Um, when Robert was like, we, we went to Sam's Club to get the tomato plants and he wanted to show me those planters up there. And he was like, if you want, I'll get them for you today. And I was like, really? I was like a kid in a candy store. I just totally felt like it was my birthday. And then I got the plants and I'm so excited. So this is what I've been wanting. Look at how beautiful. It just looks like I live in the woods and I don't but it's so nice. Like, look at my backyard. It's like, so I have neighbors, you know, but look at how beautiful. Now all of the trees are leafing out and it's gonna be a thick canopy before you know it. It's so pretty back here. And I'm so glad we didn't pull that down now that I have grandkids. We have three or four grandkids that now play on that swing set. I'm gonna go ahead and take this cutter as I use this out here in the summer. Just stick it under here. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this. Now, the only other thing I am going to put some calendula and some um, marigold seeds in here to grow and also just add some beauty and color and pollination. Um, these are the directions down here. And this kind of shows what we have. Wood look, elevated garden bed. These were $109. Here it is right here. 27.7 uh, gallons. Look <laughs> at my fingers. Um, so it says ideal for vegetables and herbs. It's got a drainer here. So right here, like if there's too much water in, look, you can drain the water out. And actually it's going right down there. So we're just gonna let that drain because I know I put a lot of water in there. Um, I'll leave that in there. Okay, um, this will come up when it's totally filled with water. I think it pushes it up and as it runs out of water, it goes down. So it could use more water, but I gave everything a really good soaking in here. So I think everything's fine. Um, we should have peppers shortly if we keep these warm temps and hopefully these onions, I think that they will take. They looked a little worse for wear. They definitely needed to get in the ground, but I think they're gonna be fine. Again, we've got more buds on here. Little, I mean, we got flowers on all of these and then little baby tomatoes starting here. So super, super happy, super, super happy with this. I'm so excited. So this little one is a baby herself and Robert said she just had kittens. She was pregnant, now she's not. And they don't know where her babies are. She is maybe six months old. This guy is the father. He's getting fixed next. We're gonna trap him next. He is the father of two kittens that are over there that are like five or six weeks old. And then, a couple of these cats are pregnant right now. So Robert feeds these guys every day. These are now our problem because somebody didn't fix their cats and now there's 25 freaking cats out here and they don't belong to us. They're wild, but they rely on us for food. So we feed them and all these are shelters for them. In fact, that behind thing there is one of the ones that Robert made for them. So. There were just about five or six of them out here. You can tell they're all related. And there's, a, look how little she is. And where are your babies, mama? There's another one, they're just everywhere. Where are you going? You gonna show me where those babies are? I don't think they're alive. I don't think she knew what to do with the babies. And then, I don't know if the babies were out. Yeah, they're hiding now. Um, there's a big raccoon that's been out here and we think the raccoon might have injured or ate some of the babies. What, honey? I don't see any more. All right, we're going back home. I'm gonna get in the shower, get to bed. It's been a long day and uh, get ready for work in the morning. I also need to the, my contact at Lily Silk 
resigned. They don't know why. So that's probably why she wasn't returning my calls. I was trying to get her to edit my video. So anyway, it's hot in here. So I'm going to, I have a new contact and I'm going to send the fashion video to her tonight and hopefully I can get that up this week because it's been done for like a month and it's just been super annoying but I'm having problems with my email so I have to send it on my regular computer to get her send the link to her from there so I'm very happy with our finishing of the garden stuff today I'm very 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 excited about it so all right guys we'll see you later hope you had a wonderful Sunday all right well I uh I'm out working remotely today. I <laughs> threw up this morning. Fun times. I was sitting here feeling nauseous and I thought, well, maybe I need to eat. So I grabbed myself a uh, banana, halfway through the banana. I got sick and I got sick before we left on the trip too. I also puked in the morning and yesterday I felt nauseous in the morning. <laughs> Lord help me. Lord help me if I'm 47 year old and 47 year olds I'm pregnant. So we're going to get a pregnancy test today. Robert will flip his shit because he is closer to 60. He's almost he's 58 and oh that would be bad. But that's three times now I've been sick in the morning. Um, I have not missed a period or anything like that, but they have been light. So we're just going to cross our fingers that the good Lord isn't blessing me with a precious baby at 47 years old. But if he is, okay, Robert knows how I feel about that. If I have a baby, if I'm pregnant, I'm keeping the baby. I'm not aborting it. That's just my own personal feelings. And that's, that's how I feel. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of news. Um, actually it might just be nothing. I, you know, the other thing is I was drinking tea this morning and sometimes when I drink tea on an empty, empty stomach, it will make me nauseous. It doesn't usually make me puke. No, I don't know. Anyway, um, and I was very not, I, when I had both my boys, I was, I had a lot of morning sickness with my boys. So, um, anyway, so that's where we're at. So I am working, but I'm home. It's Monday morning. Um, I'm actually making more tea now. This is one of the outfits, the tops that I got from Shein. Just a beautiful blouse for work. A little bit of a puffy sleeve. Beautiful lace detail that lays so nice on the skin. And I just love florals with a black background. I know they're more like, they're more for like the fall time versus like right now time, but I just love them. I'm so like drawn to them. I just love them so much. Um, and I got a bunch of stuff from Shein that came in that I did go through. A lot of it needs to really be seamed before I try it on for you guys because um, it's super wrinkled. I mean, I cannot believe how much um, clothing they pack into one box. It's insane. Um, I got a new belt as well, which is like a rattan belt. And I wore that yesterday and really, really liked it. I have a super cute new bathing suit that I'm really excited um, to try on. It's like... Um, Got this like stretchy gold black and then the cups and then anyway that's that i'm excited to try on i got a hot pink bathing suit and a uh sexy red bathing suit so i'm gonna try all of those on my daughter actually wanted to go somewhere with me this weekend where did she want to go i think she wanted to go to king's dominion coming up like next weekend but um where was it yesterday i don't remember I didn't go um, yesterday. We you saw what we did yesterday with the the garden. So, all right. So now I'm sitting here, and the cat just put her paw on my tummy. Do you know something I don't know yet? You see that? Is there a baby in there? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> I'll give you guys an update. Once I pick up, Robert brought my vehicle, so I can't go get a test today. I might actually have him pick one up on the way home. Because you can't, you're not supposed to take those tests till morning time anyway. I don't think I'm pregnant. I don't think I am. I think it was probably my tea. I think my tea had just upset my stomach. So, I got all those dogs out. I'll give you an update on the pregnancy. Concerned. Scared. Good morning, my friends. It is... Tuesday morning, 
I think this vlog didn't have an official good morning, like welcome to the vlog, this week's vlog, because I have all the vlogs to do from Disney still. So what well, I did one, but it looks like I, I was trying to do like one a day, but I abruptly cut off the Animal Kingdom day because we ate and then every, that was our like first day and everybody was exhausted. And I think we just like went back ate dinner and went to bed or went swimming or something. I didn't film that. So I'm just going to do an ending to that so I can get that one up. And then I have like a vlog for every, every theme park that we went to each day. Um, so officially you have already watched like my gardening and stuff like that. So welcome to this week's vlog. This will be a separate vlog. Um, so it's Tuesday morning. It is 60 degrees or 58 degrees. It was 60 by my house, 58 here. Uh, sun is just, as you can see, starting to come out. I am at the office. I am getting ready to go in and work. I've got uh, my coffee and I worked from home yesterday because remember I got sick. I'm fine today, no issues. I wasn't really sick after I threw up, so I think it was just, I think it was that I drank tea on an empty stomach, but Anyway, um, so I am going to be working all day. My flowers in the flower beds, I checked them this morning because the tomato was like really like mm, yesterday, but I mean, it was just the tomatoes first day, like really outside. I didn't really harden the tomato off. I forgot to think about that. And so it wilted really bad under the heat, but this morning it was like right back to normal. Everything looked good. So they definitely didn't need water or anything. Um, that has like a whole thing underneath that holds water so then the roots will suck it up as needed um so yeah anyway I'm loving that whole system and another um raised bed showed up yesterday um but my daughter came over yesterday and we had dinner with her and we didn't get a chance to put that one up so maybe tonight Robert is super busy with work he has a lot of work it's fabulous for him um and he's been helping me because my income has not been what it needs to be right now. Um, I'm waiting on some money and I miss doing my taxes. Now I have to call my guy, tax guy and file an extension and then get those taxes done. Cause I have to do YouTube, my regular work, Sensi and Park Lane. And it is such a pain to do my taxes every year. It is such a pain. Um, it stresses me out every single year. So I think I, I just need to do a better job this year for next year of like, making sure everything's together. I started last year and didn't finish, so I'm sure that I'm not gonna get all the discounts that I could get if I saved my receipts better, especially when it comes to YouTube. So, um, cause I spent a lot of money on clothes and makeup and stuff for YouTube. All right, my friends, I am going to watch a couple videos. I got here a little bit early, drink my coffee and go in. Um, I'll show you a, a picture of my outfit once I take one inside, but I have a Stitch Fix sweater, this little cardigan sweater, and then um, a little, um, it's new actually, it's a little maxi dress that I got and it's a size petite and I love it, I love it. It's still almost too long on me, but it's not. It's like sits right there and I'm wearing flats today. So, um, but I will put a picture up here. I usually do put those on my Instagram though. If you guys are interested in following me on Instagram, it's just um, Southern Yankee 15 if you wanna check me out there. But I, cause I try to put my daily outfits and stuff up there as well as all the videos um, as they pop up, like as they're live, I'll put those up there too. All right, my friends, have a wonderful Tuesday morning and I'll see you later. Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday morning and it's so weird. It was like, it's cold today. I have a jacket on. Um, it was 53 at my house and it's only, it's 48 here. Now I am going more north to go to work but that's crazy to me that there's a five degree within a 45 minute drive that there's a five degree difference in temperatures. It's 48 degrees here now. Ooh, yuck. So I'm uh, dragging a little bit today. Uh, Robert's like, are you going to work tomorrow? And I was like, yeah. He goes, you know, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm like, Ugh. I had no idea. I'm usually in bed and sleep by 10. So not only did I get my coffee today, but um, I grabbed breakfast. I felt like I needed the protein and, you know, just the nutrients. I got some, um, oatmeal, blueberry oatmeal and antioxidants and stuff. So, um, yeah, so I dressed up a little bit cozier today. I wanted to wear, this is a Nordstrom sweater and it actually, it's really a beautiful material. I've showed these before. I have this one in blue and then this one in, um, this like magenta and the material sort of sparkles. It's just really beautiful. And then I have a pair of gray 
pants with polka dots. I don't know if you can see those. I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture up on Instagram. Um, I have been on the way here. I was listening to the Johnny Depp trial. I'm super curious about what you guys think. Or is anybody, first of all, is anybody even following it? It's not something I would normally follow. It's not something I would normally have any interest in. Um, I have to say, I feel like from the evidence I've seen and heard so far, uh, which has not been all of it, but I heard recordings of Amber Heard and um, Johnny Depp talking and fighting. And it seems like Amber has been the aggressor. She admitted to hitting him. Um, she threw a bottle and sliced part of his fingers. He's got, there's photos of him with bruises and cuts and scratches all over his face. And then I just was listening to his sister's testimony that Johnny Depp's mother did that to his father. And they asked, did your father ever hit her back? And his sister said, no, um, he just like didn't, bo wasn't bothered by it, let her finish. And then she'd calm down and, um, the testimony from Johnny Depp's ex-wives and ex-fiancés all said how kind and sweet and loving he was, that they never, ever saw any type of abuse from him. And then you have Amber on tape saying, I'm hitting you. Like, I'm not punching you, but I've been hitting you. Like, punching is with a fist. Hitting is with a slap. Hitting is Will Smith. Will Smith did the slap in the cross the face because there's a lesser charge if you slap versus if you punch, which, so that's why he did that. Um, anyway, um, I'm just curious if you're following it. I think it's kind of interesting and, um, you know, disagree with Johnny Depp on some things, but I, I'm in his corner on this one. I think that he was the victim, not the abuser. So anyway, let me know what you think. And um, yeah, I'm just curious if any of you guys are following it and what your thoughts are. And it's okay if you are if you feel that Amber's the one that is in the right and uh, you have a different opinion of me, totally okay. Um, you know, just totally share that down in the comments. I'm just curious, you know, and I have not seen all of it yet. So I can't like fairly make a, you know, my own opinion on it because I haven't seen all the evidence. So there might've been some really damning stuff and I missed it, you know? So anyway, all right. Well, I am getting ready to go into the office. I'm going to eat my oatmeal and, um, wake up a little bit this morning and I will see you guys later. Oh, three of my tomato seeds that I thought were dead. All those stuff, all that stuff I planted before I left, three of them, have sprouted and three lettuces have sprouted. None of the flowers or other things or cucumbers or anything else has come up. But I, I have three, I have like two a two-a Lincoln and one of the other tomato. It was like the more orangey tomato. I forgot what it was, but they're both big, large tomatoes. So I have three plants. So even if I just get three tomato plants, I could plant more. I just, I know the seeds got dried out, but even if I just have three, cause we just bought some, that's more tomatoes than Robert and I need. We ended up last year like kind of wasting a, a some because we couldn't eat them all. I think what I'm going to do this year though, is if I have extra tomatoes, I'm going to bring them into the office and put them in a little brown paper bags. People will take them home. So they scarf things down like any kind of food that you put in this office, those men eat. So, all right, I'm going to eat breakfast. I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.